Oh, fuck. Didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. What is the worst way to die and what is the best way to die? That's a very good question. Well, I would say that the worst way to die is with your parents. Because everything seems a million times worse with your parents. They would probably be standing there saying, No, you're screaming wrong. Are those really going to be your last words? Don't die like that. Die like this. It's more manly. I should have left you in that garbage can I found you in. That kind of stuff. Now the best way to die, I would have to say that be with a million naked ladies. <laughs> it doesn't even matter how you die. As long as there's a million naked ladies there, it'll be alright. Now I know what you're thinking. What if you're female? Well, in that case, the answer would be with a million naked ladies. Because even though it wouldn't be the best death for you, it would absolutely be the best death for me. Unless you're a lesbian, in which case, it would be even better. <laughs> I'm such a perv. I am afraid of my mother. What should I do? Have you tried not having a mother? I know it sounds difficult, but I'm sure it can be done. Maybe you could try giving yourself an immaculate conception. Just like that fellow from years back. What was his name? Um... Fozzie. Fozzie Bear. He had an immaculate conception and so had absolutely no mother to deal with. Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't there an episode somewhere where Fozzie had to deal with his mother? Stop ruining my joke. It's funny. Why is it that you find asteroids in the hemisphere, but you find hemorrhoids in your ass? What am I, your mother? Read a book! What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? African swallow or European swallow? Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> He'll be back. How can I kill my- Is he? Yes, very good. How can I kill my family and frame the cat? Well, my advice would be, kill your family, cut them up into little itty bitty pieces, and then blame the cat in the hat. Because we all know what a sick motherfucker he is. True, there's that story where he goes in the two kids' house and he brings all sorts of fun and games, but that was only one house. In every other house he went to, he slaughtered the lot. They don't tell you that bit in the Dr. Seuss book. Though surprisingly, there was a version written. He stabbed them repeatedly till they were dead, then grabbed them together and juggled their heads. It's a horrifying tale to listen to, and a great cover-up for your family slaughter. Yes. I live in the middle of nowhere. Whenever I manage to get into civilization and around decent people, I exchange emails because it's the best way for me to get to know them. However, they never email me back. So, my communist friend and I have decided to dictate and enslave the entire state. How should we punish them? A very common question. Well, there's always the traditional tarring and feathering, burning them at the stake, forcing them to watch Mind of Mencia. But I think the best way to punish them would be detention. Because detention sucks! You have to sit there doing nothing, or worse than nothing, they make you work on your homework, and they won't even let you listen to your iPod! It totally blows! And then cut off their private parts. God, I have issues. If you could legally murder any celebrity, who would it be? Jesus. Because he'll just come back again anyway. I remember the first time he came back from the grave. He went up to Punctious Pilot and said, SUCKER! Thus Punctious Pilot sicked his guards on him, and it became a chase scene right out of Benny Hill. <laughs> Hilarious. And religiously educational. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Matt question. Which weighs more, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? Uh, 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 this is a common question used to try to fool people up. It's so obviously a ton of bricks. Bricks are heavier, and therefore they shall weigh more. Anyone who believes that a ton of feathers would weigh more is stupid. The only thing stupider would be believing that they both weigh the same. How idiotic would that be? Very. How many fingers am I holding up right now? I don't know. Is it the same number as me? This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you 